Ladies and gents, welcome back to the Arborman LP Exhibitions, and today we are going to be dealing with Street Fighter 3 Second Impact. And we are finally, finally getting out of Street Fighter 3 once we're done here. Yeah, just like the newly announced Street Fighter 6 is finally veering away from Street Fighter 3. But whatever the case, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of people have been buffed. Some have been nerfed. This is also the playable debut of Hugo, Yurian, Akuma, and Yoon being a separate character as well as Yang. Well, actually, Yoon and Yang has already been in the game before. They're not palette swaps this time around. But many people have gotten a buff. Many people have gotten a nerf. And sadly, Yang was the one that got the latter, not the former. But whatever the case... <clears throat> We're playing as Sean, a character who, my god, this guy, this is his last hurrah in Street Fighter 3 uh, Second Impact Giant Attack. Because let's be honest with you, this man gets nerfed to hell in high water. And yeah, even though I am playing like a noob, it's been a while since I've played Street Fighter 3 uh, their strikes. I mean, not their strike, second impact. Still, <clears throat> you could tell how nerfed they pro they tried to make Sean, but he was still a menace to society. And by the way, that was the only tech hit that I actually done that uh, I probably will never do again because new to Street Fighter Three, uh, second impact is bonus games. Which, of course, will allow you to learn how to parry. God damn! Again, Sean is a menace to society. Although I still am a noob as far as for this game's concerned. It's been a while since I've played Second Impact. Oh, and in this game, Gil's not the end-all be-all unless your name's Alex. Oh no! That would be your rival that's designated in this game. And why the fuck did I run into that? That would be really stupid of me to do. And I am getting completely decimated here by Hugo. Oh! Jesus Christ, man! Ooh! Almost lost that round. But yeah, Hugo was at his worst in this game. He got a little bit better and... Uh, third strike and in Street Fighter 4 and I fell right for that block yeah I know I'm not the best Sean player in the world but hey look on the bright side at least I wasn't spamming tornado kit okay maybe I am <laughs> I spoke too soon and what do you know I lost around Oof, this guy hits really, really hard. I forgot. He is like one of the hardest hitting guys in the game. <coughs> and then Dudley actually hits for more. And the boss. Let, let's not even forget about the boss. Oh, right. I almost forgot. And obviously this isn't going to happen. But uh, if I would have completed the game with uh, no losses and... Uh, and at least five or six perfects by the end of this game if I would have faced off against Gil Shinokuma would appear and kill Gil or whoever it is that's the uh, rival and then afterwards uh, you'll be fighting Shinokuma instead actually no you'll be fighting Akuma instead Shinokuma happens if you manage to beat him with two perfects and I am not good at that, so don't expect that to happen. And yes, Sean is a menace. An absolute menace, but a menace nonetheless. And get used to the cutaways where the uh, characters would be bloodied up. Because you won't be seen at any time soon, and I try to... I tried to tech it, and I, I completely forgot. See what I mean? 
I teched it the first time, and I never was able to do it again. It sucks, really. God damn it. Tech it. Tech it. Oh, great. I don't want to die. All right. Let's just talk about Sean for a minute, aside from his nerfing. For those who don't know about Sean, he is the brother of Laura. And more importantly, he ends up being the butt of Street Fighter after three third strike. In fact, <clears throat> Laura makes it a point to make this man the butt of the joke. And if Sean does return in Street Fighter 6 as DLC, I would not be surprised. Because many fans demand him. They got Alex, but not Sean. They got Elena in 4, but not Sean. Hell, Dudley was in 4, but not Sean. Oro made his appearance, but not Sean. Thank God Necro didn't show up. Hell, Yun and Yang made their appearance in 4 as well, but not Sean. <clears throat> and in a way, Q made his appearance in 5, but not Sean. Again, I'm glad that Necro didn't make an appearance. That would have sucked. And speaking of which, I almost sucked terribly and lost that round. But thankfully, I can Okay, I like that picture of Elena, but, uh... Yeah, she could do without the bruises. Still. Elena is actually uh, one of the most OP characters. So that's all the more reason why I shrug in fear every time I see her. Meanwhile, due to the fact that Sean doesn't have a projectile or rushdown or anything of that nature... Sean, uh... Wow. Wow! Um... You know, I have no words for what just happened. I teched his... I teched hit his maneuver. He goes to a super art and kills me when I'm about to counter. Okay. You know what? You know what? Let that be the highlight of what's happened in this episode. I, I have nothing to say for that bullshit. <laughs> Ooh, good thing I'm not fighting Urian. I hope I'm not, but if I do, I would suck. Because, uh, it's basically fighting a miniature kill. Except he fires electricity as opposed to, uh, ice and fire. I can't believe I missed that. Yeah, that is just a shame. Yeah, I... I missed that terribly. And it took, what, five uh, rounds for my first loss? I mean, that's a... That's a new thing, I mean. That, that is something that's new. Because I would have probably lost, like, five or six times... No, that's, you know, seven or eight times, even twelve times, like I did a New Generation. <clears throat> and like I did in Third Strike kept losing the goddamn gill. It was really annoying. And I just got smoked. I'm sorry, I just got smoked. There was just no way. I can't believe I was doing this badly to Dudley, man! But, what did I say? <laughs> of course he tech hits my grapple. I have nothing to say on that note. <clears throat> and yes, EX moves are a thing, folks. And Dudley did about a good number of them in the previous battle where I kind of lost in the most cheapskated way. Oh, again I lose via Rocket Uppercut. It, it just... It's just going to keep getting worse and worse. I'm going to end up tra changing up maneuvers. I really am. Maybe I'll have better success. So why is Sean wearing pink? That is glaring to the eyes, goddammit. Well, I guess everybody wants to know my thoughts about Street Fighter VI. Well, what can I say? I like the way the roster looks. I mean, Chun-Li's new outfit, yeah, she kicks real high, and she has a camel toe, but, uh, 
I just hope that the FGC doesn't have a bitch fit and force Capcom to lower the camera like they did Candy. But all in all, she trained that uh, girl that she rescued from uh, Shadowloo, the hacker girl, Kim. Train her in Kung Fu. So yeah. It's going to be interesting to see how that game plays out. But I was also right when I said that Luke will pretty much job the entirety of the roster. And what do you know, they did. And the first person they jobbed was Ken Masters. Oh yeah. Luke and his freaking MMA. It, he, he, well, of course, he also jobbed this new guy, Jamie, but he also jobbed uh, Ken Masters because now Ken doesn't have a wife, he doesn't have a son, he doesn't have a house, he doesn't have a car or a yacht anymore. He's literally a karate bum like Ryu. All he has is street clothes and a dog tag. He had one messy divorce, and you know what? Uh, that should not even happen. That's some terrible writing. And the reason for the divorce is because of the fact that he wanted... Oh, God! That is some bullshit. It's all right, though. It's all right. I will get my revenge. I swear I will. Or get my ass whipped in the process. But as I was saying, I think one of the stupidest reasons to divorce is... For him to... Oh, I almost rage quit on that one. And I wasn't trying to, but what I was trying to do was change his color to his default. But whatever the case, as I was saying... <clears throat> he practically was divorced because he wanted to try to fight to find his own path like Ryu. And many of the times, Elena supported him. Hell... Mel was born right after he beat S.I.N. And Mel was at a young age right after he beat Gil. So Mel should probably be, like, in his teens by, not, by Street Fighter V. Because the canon is literally, uh, 1, 2, 4, 3, and 5. <clears throat> That's basically the whole canon. Oh! I can't believe I missed that. And I deserve this! I deserve this! I deserve that ass whooping. For missing sure you can, and I deserve that ass whooping. Ah, <sighs> jeez. Not much I could say about what happened with Ken. I've already said my piece. There was... I mean, there was something better they could have done with him. Aside from having him to lose his wife for such a trivial decision. Because she supported him. In fact, the reason they got married was because of the fact he won the tournament. Yeah! So that that's really... Freaking dumb that they went there and made him divorce El El Eliza, so... And by the way, isn't Eliza Guile's sister? I'm pretty sure she is. Well, I beat Sean after two losses, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> but I was pretty sure that, uh... Ken was... Uh, that Eliza was Guile's sister and Ken and Guile are brother-in-law. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, God would be pissed at him for being divorced from Eliza or something like that. But if one thing is for sure, if anybody is pretty much uh, jobbed in the whole entirety of this uh, game, it would probably be, well, practically everybody else that's not Ryu. And speaking of jobbed, man, this dude is jobbing me out. He is kicking my ass. Ain't that about a bitch. Ah, uh, It's alright though. I'll try to k strike back. Uh, I mean, I'll try, but I'll fail miserably. 
Yeah, of course he blocked all that. Why didn't he? Oh, and I'm almost dead. Nope, I probably am dead. Yep, there he goes. And there goes another loss. Oh, and just for the record, same rules apply with Street Fighter 3 Next Generation. If you lose too much, Gil's uh, difficulty will drop. And I lost too much. So with that said, let's whoop his ass. It, I've just had about enough of Gil. So this will be the last time I see his sorry ass. Because I already played at least three games that he's in. Actually make that four because of this game. And good riddance. Alright. This is the game where he actually gets Meteor Storm. And he actually randomizes every time he continues. To the point where he gets Resurrection. Actually he can use... A meteor storm and a resurrection without having to actually have them locked into them. Oh, got him! Can't believe how do burst actually worked. That was the worst one, and he fell victim to that. And yeah, that's a picture of Gil getting completely trounced if he wasn't the final boss, which he isn't. That would be this guy right here, who I was just freaking talking about. Oh, God. Get used to seeing that yacht, folks. Because he's no longer Kin Masters. He's going to be bum-ass Kin Masters by Street Fighter VI. I mean, what the hell is with Capcom and killing off my... Or doing something terrible to my favorite characters? I mean, look what they did to Cody, man. They made him a prison bitch. Made him a zombie in Final Fight um, Streetwise. And... It took him a while to finally get him out of prison and make him worth a damn in Street Fighter V. I mean, come on! Now they're going to do the same thing to Ken. Ken's going to be the new Cody. Watch, the next thing he's going to be is in prison. I, I, I can see it. Street Fighter Seven. Ken with um, Ken with a hoodie with prison stripes. And he has this sad, watered-down version of the Shoryuken. Because he's so mentally depressed. And Capcom would be the one to do that. And I would be the one to run straight into that too. Even though I tried to counter him. I am getting completely wrecked. Ha! My Hadouken's better than yours. Ah, god damn it. <laughs> I deserve that. Ah, and about me beating Ryu. Just so I can, uh, face Ken? Yeah. About that. That's basically the ending. Him facing Ryu. I, I also forgot to mention that other than the updates and the theme that you will never hear again because Sean, no wait, Sean's going to have his Sao Paulo theme. But that's going to be updated for Street Fighter 3. And Ken is going to have his theme with, shared with Alex in Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. So yeah, both Sean and Ken gets a new theme. Honestly, I like the uh, Sao Paulo theme that uh, Sean has with uh, in Street Fighter 3 Second Impact. And more importantly, I like this theme that I'm listening to right now. This should have been the de facto Ken theme, but nope. This is the last game you're going to hear this theme, and he shares a theme with Alex. Meanwhile, Alex still has Jazzy, but a different version of it. Nonetheless, folks, Hadu Burst works its magic, and I win. Finally. And it took me half the time that it took me in Street Fighter 3 New Generation. Well, <clears throat> you're going to be fighting Ryu for a good bit. And it sucks that Sean's going to be the punching bag. And Ken's even, no, not Ken, Ryu's even feeling sorry for him. He's like, wait, 
are you fighting because Ken told you to? And it's an obvious yes. Of course, Ryu has a, a self-defense mechanism that if anybody comes behind him, he's going to hit him with a Hadouken. Shades of his fight with Sagat. But nonetheless, we've pretty much beaten all three games of Street Fighter 3. Just not in the order that I was intended. So my final thoughts, Street Fighter 3 actually was quintessentially a very fun game. I mean, Street Fighter 2, it took Capcom a while for them to count to 3, but it was still fun in its own right. But this game had improved sprites, improved fighting system, and it got better and better with a few characters getting worse and worse, and then they brought in Remy. Oh, that's another one that they're not bringing back. And bless the Lord, because Remy sucks. Anyway. Anyway. With the fact that I visited Street Fighter 3, I guess I could say that... Uh, there's nothing else left, as far as that's concerned. Because now, there's only one version of Street Fighter that's left... And that's Street Fighter 2, and I gotta get really good before I ever play that for this channel. It'll take a while for me to do that, and I'm really, really terrible, and that in and of its own may take too long for me to do. So, with that said, until I get good, I will probably won't be playing that for quite some time. <clears throat> Till then... There is one last game that I'd like to play to try to cap off the season at least. <clears throat> and that's going to be showing up next week. In the meantime, I almost have it finished ladies and gentlemen. I promised Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends review and it's almost done. I was still grinding. Oh god, I was still grinding. But ladies and gentlemen, when that gets done, I'll have it in the community post. But for the time being, I'll see you all in the next episode of the Arborman LP Exhibitions, where I have a little odd surprise to show you all. This is Arborman985. Peace out. <laughs>